As we all know, a fish pond is a place where fish are kept and raised for personal consumption or commercial purpose. Research has been done and different types of ponds that can be used to raise fish has been discovered. Most of this type of ponds can be used to raise fish in our compound and sometimes can be moved anywhere. This is Regal Fishery. My name is Omotola Uluafemi. You're welcome to my channel. The number one type of fish pond on our list is eating pond. An eating pond is a near natural habitation for fishes like the river or stream. They are entirely constructed from soil materials and they are the most common types of pond. Eating pond can be contour or a dugout pond. The contour is constructed in the slope of an island with clay soil and a nearby stream, while the dugout is constructed in a flat swampy land which can either be dry or wet, and water is allowed to naturally flow from underground in the pond. The location of an eating pond is limited to the area which there is clay soil and underground water or a flowing stream. It is therefore sited in swampy area where clean fresh water is available. The construction of eating pond should be carried out by professionals who have been in the business of pond construction for a long time because there are factors to consider before constructing an eating pond which are 1. The location of the land and availability of water which is the first thing to consider before deciding to dig an eating pond and the land must be in a place where there is natural water. 2. Soil type. Soil type is the second factor to consider before constructing an eating pond. The best type of soil for eating pond is um, clay soil because it can hold water very well. The advantages of eating ponds are 1. It is the most near natural type of pond good for raising fish. 2. Fish growth is rapid. 3. Fishes eat natural food like worms, algae, insects and debris. 4. It has low maintenance cost. 5. The water system is easy to manage. The disadvantages of eating ponds are 1. Sorting may be difficult which can lead to cannibalism. 2. If not properly constructed, when there is flood, fishes escape. 3. It is difficult to discover when there is an outbreak of diseases and also difficult to control. 4. It requires more space. The second type of pond is concrete pond which is very common for fish farmers to raise their catfish. Concrete ponds are constructed using cement, blocks, and sand. It requires the help of an expert compared to other types of ponds because any mistake can lead to leakages, which might cost more to repair than to construct another one. Factors to consider before constructing a concrete pond are 1. Location Although a concrete pond can be anywhere, even in your compound, the position is to be considered for proper construction. 2. Drainage system. A good drainage system where you will be disposing the wastewater must be highly considered when you want to build a concrete pond. 3. Cost. You need to consider cost because concrete pond is the most expensive type of fish pond. Advantages of concrete ponds. 1. It can be constructed on any land. 2. Easy management for younger fishes like fingerlings and juveniles. 3. The concrete ponds can be used to grow all sizes and types of catfish if the conditions are met. 4. Monitoring of fish growth is easier. 5. 
it is easy to notice fish diseases and control the diseases. Six, it lasts longer than any type of plant if managed well. Seven, you can easily control the system like the temperature of the water and the pH of water. The disadvantages of concrete pond. One, concrete pond is more expensive to build, especially for a starter. Two, it requires a large amount of water to run a concrete pond. Three, if not properly treated after construction, the chemical can cause the death of fishes. Four, water waste can cause an environmental pollution if you don't have a proper way to dispose. The third type of fish pond is tampoline pond. This is the most recently evolved type of fish pond in Nigeria and it has many advantages over the eating pond and the concrete pond. The advantages are 1. It is very easy to fix. 2. It is very flexible and can be carried from one place to the other. 3. It does not require a lot of space. 4. It is cost effective compared to concrete ponds. 5. It's ideal for people who live in rented apartments. 6. It's non toxic and non corrosive. 7. It is ideal for starters or anyone who wants to start small. The major disadvantage of tampoline pond is that it can tear easily, especially if you don't buy the quality one. Secondly, it can be disassembled and stolen easily. Three, heavy wind, rain, or flood can easily destroy it. Factors to consider when you want to buy a tarpaulin pond are one, quality. You must get a good quality of tarpaulin for durability. Two, quantity of fish. If you want to rear a large number of fishes, a tarpaulin pond is not advisable. Three, space. Despite that a tarpaulin pond can be placed anywhere, you must still make sure it's placed in a place where sun cannot destroy it. The fourth type of pond we will be looking at is the plastic or rubber pond. It is more like tarpaulin pond except that it is plastic and more stronger. It has all the advantages of tarpaulin pond and another advantage is an old overhead tank can be turned into a pond to raise your catfish. Factors to consider when buying a plastic pond are one space. Though it requires a small space, you must still consider where you will put this because of access to water. Two, quantity. The quantity of fish you want to rear will determine the number of plastic you will buy. Three, cost. It is not advisable to buy a lot of plastic prawns if you don't have enough money. Advantages of a plastic pond are 1. It can easily be moved from one place to the other. 2. It can be used to raise fingerlings before they are transferred to the main pond. 3. They are environment friendly. 4. Plastic ponds are easy to maintain. 5. They are cost effective. 6. They can be used to raise fish almost everywhere. Disadvantages are 1. If placed in an open space, too much sun can affect the durability of the plastic. 2. You will spend more money to buy plastic if you are raising a large number of fishes. The fifth type of pond is the fiber glass tank. This type of pond has a special use. It is meant for breeding of fingerlings at a particular temperature before they are moved to the outdoor tanks. Advantages of the fiberglass tank. 1. They can be moved around with ease. 2. Fishes can be monitored at a glance. Disadvantages are 1. It can be expensive to purchase. 2. It can only be used for fingerlings. 
three, they cannot contain huge amount of fishes. And lastly, the cage or pen pond. This type of pond is always constructed inside fresh water. Cage tanks are always constructed in the middle of a river, stream, or large quantities of water. They are held and surrounded by pegs. Advantages of cage pond are 1. The fishes are in their natural habitats. 2. Fish grow rapidly. 3. Oxygen is always available. 4. A very large amount of fish can be raised with this type of pond. Disadvantages are 1. Requires tight security for you to succeed in raising fishes with this type of pond. 2. The construction process is cumbersome. 3. If there happens to be water pollution, all fishes will be lost at once. 4. You may require a canoe or a boat to access your pond. In conclusion, the type of pond you decide to use in your farm depends on your location, the quantity of fish you want to raise, your capital, and so on. But most importantly, no matter the type of pond you choose, if well managed, you will succeed. Thanks for watching this video. Please drop your comment and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And again, please put on your post notification for our next video. I remain my humble self. Stay blessed.